Now, an interesting thing about what happened to the uh, other engine. When we have this oil pan on, with it off, you can see the depth to which the dipstick goes. And the oil pickup is half an inch below the bottom of the sump on that oil pan. You can see that the pickup is up there. And so even though this piece fell out of the oil pump there, you can see that the mark here for full is far below or far above where the oil would be. And even if it's one quart low, it's still higher than the uh, pickup. So it would still cover the suction of the oil. And so when the when it fell out, it, the oil must have been very, very low. And since they didn't have a proper dipstick, uh, that was how the disaster ensued. This is the part, completely apart, hydraulic lifters. Take it apart and clean it because it was stuck and then put it back together. It's not easy to get apart either. This is where those lifters go. Here, some of them are already in. There's one last one there to go in that empty space. Okay, all of them were disassembled. Okay, the last one is in, number eight. Just have to use the torque wrench to set the uh, right torque on the timing chain cam gear. And don't forget the oil pump. Okay, this is actually the best way that I found for fairly rapidly moving, removing uh, sludgy carbon and heavy hard carbon deposits on intake valves. So basically you use the drill with a wire brush and uh, use the drill press with the valve with a rubber covering over the valve stem so it doesn't get scratched and uh, go for it. Very good. Okay, <clears throat> so it's like this, right? And then this is compressed and put this over top and put this O-ring on here. It's down to the first thing here. Okay, so then we get it down to the next. Next uh, one down. Oops. And then it's uh, actually in there. So 
you can see that that's it and then uh, just put these oops, put these keepers in how it works. A lot simpler than trying to do those other ones. So that's just, that's how, that's how you do them one by one. Not too bad, huh? Get sealer on the threads and a little oil under the bolt. Another one. This is because the bolts go into the water jacket. So this, just in case there's some leaking, would come up into the head gasket. Torque it to 65 foot pounds. I'm going to blow the uh, liquid and debris out of the push rod.
took the pan off so that we could uh, verify that that uh, bolt is torqued for the oil pump and the uh, rear main bearing. The oil pan soaking with some uh, TSP to uh, remove any of the uh, possible hardened deposits, possible hardened deposits.